Okay, plus so Capricorn, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury. Here's your weekly reading. I did weekly readings last night, Leo through Pisces. I woke up and I deleted them all. So I did Aries through Scorpio hours ago, just showing my hands at the kitchen table, but I ran out of natural light, so here we are. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury. Two more shuffles. Uno. Six of Coins, Seis de Oros. Hmm, the Fool, El Loco. Nine of Coins, Nueve de Oros. This card keeps showing up in these readings. A lot of people are focused on their coin right now. That's really smart. Three of Cups. Place the Copas. Page of Cups. Sopa de Copas. Judgment. La Julio. Hmm. You may be talking to a few different people. If you are, it's very casual. You're just talking, flirting. Um, you're not really looking for a serious relationship or any kind of relationship right now. And I've been seeing the same thing over and over again in this week's readings. So... After I upload these weekly readings, I may go ahead and do an all signs your next relationship. I have a client reading scheduled for later this evening, but yeah, I think I'll do that because I'm trying to grow my channel and I get the most views for the uh, all signs. You're not looking for anything. Um, I see you working your ass off, which that's pretty much business as usual for Capricorn. Working your ass off, hanging out with friends, going out for drinks, after work, shooting some pool, throwing some darts, playing some trivia at the bar, I don't know, going bowling, having these outings with coworkers, with friends, and you're not looking for anything. You could be a single parent. Um, if you are a single parent of a child or children, you're going to be very careful about who you allow into your life. And so your main focus right now is work and your kid, or if you don't have a kid or kids, friends. Please provide an energetic summation for Capricorn. Three additional cards. You're not in this energy. I keep saying this. Um, this may be the third time this has happened this week. It just happened to Sagittarius, and it happened earlier with another sign. I forget which one. But um, it's like I say over and over again. And I've got videos at Siren Tarot explaining how I read tarot. I go more in depth at Patreon. I feel like you can get all the information you need looking at the cards in the upright. This really dense, dark, negative energy of the Nine of Swords is nullified by the cards around it. I don't feel like you are in Nine of Swords. Hair keeps getting my mouth, it's gross. Um, you're not tripping, you're not obsessed 
with anyone. You're not trying to force a narrative. You're not trying to force a square peg in a round hoe. You like your life. You like the way it is. You don't feel this desperate need to be in a relationship is what I'm getting from these cards. So. We're not even at uh, six minutes. Any surprises in store for Capricorn? Three more cards. Los enamorados. Eight of coins, my personal favorite. I do associate the eight of coins with Capricorn because eight is the number of Capricorn in the system that I use, which is detailed in um, Linda Goodman's star signs. Eight of coins, ocho de oros. Seven of coins, siete de oros. You may meet this person at work. You're not going to meet them anytime soon. It could be next spring or summer, late spring, early summer, 2023. But regardless of where, how you meet this person, it's going to be a significant relationship and you're going to have things in common. Shared values, shared interests. It's going to go way beyond sexual attraction, but you're going to feel this spooky kinship, which you feel that with um, soulmates, twin flames, I don't know, I can't speak with authority on twin flames, but you're going to feel this strong connection. But you're absolutely in no rush, and that's how it happens usually. What I tell clients all the time, I found this to be true in my 49 years on this planet, Anyone can manifest a relationship, that's not hard. But to manifest something significant, substantial, deeply gratifying, the last, you have to be okay with this energy for a while. You have to really like yourself and your life and not be desperate. You can't manifest much of anything from this, but I don't feel like you're in this energy right now. That's what I see for Capricorn. I hope that helps. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out.